hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to add button container in the form view and what it is and what is the purpose and in case you missed previous discussion about how to add a notebook and the page tags in the form view please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblinks channel under the home screen you can see odoo 17 18 development tutorial right now we are working on this playlist if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available all right guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot plus you will get the latest notification about the upcoming sessions so let's make to a way to pick what is the button container right for example uh, let's say I'm going to the contacts, right? If I will open any of the contact, you can see in the header of this form view, you can see something like this buttons, right? The icon, the text, and the dynamic values here. You can see, right? So, plus one more thing is the actions. Once I go to here, so it will automatically open this action, right? So, how it is working. We will see in this discussion all right but not in this menu uh, but in the school profile here okay so let's say first thing is i'm going to the custom add-ons students view and the school profile here you can see the form view, right now here let me add one more tag which is the SHWT we have to provide everything inside the set tag right because it will arrange left right and the top margin automatically and it's look very pretty then after this header part right uh, right now we don't need to manage this header part but let's see here inside this set tag right or let's say if you didn't mention this one then that is also fine you can directly use here a div tag right so this div tag we have to use one class which is oe button box plus the name should be always button underscore box so once you provide like this so it will automatically manage the layout of the buttons right which we display in the contact menu now here simple we have to provide the simple buttons like this so let's say this one okay let me cut not cut but let's say i'm trying to copy this one and paste here right but we don't need to close like that way but we can use something like this now inside this button we have to add here some span tag right and the div tag to visible something different but before that let's see how it's look like right so for that we have to upgrade this module and here i'm upgrading module from this pycharm guys if you don't know how to configure or do in pycharm please check editor level playlist let me refresh the screen and let me open the form view now you can see here the custom method button is available here right but it's look like a very simple right let's add some more styling this button so now here we have to provide so the first thing is the icon we have to manage here okay so for that we can use the far bars here the new tag we can use all stat info Oh, sorry start with like this start right and here in this new tag we have to mention two things okay span class or stat value and one more span class or stat and the text right here any text and here value Right, so in a value we have to mention the specific field name so let's say field name uh, I'm adding here amount okay 
so let's amount school fees right so this is the static data and this is the dynamic value and this is our icon that's it and after let me restart the service upgrade the module and refresh the screen and now you can see this one so you can see the fancy button is visible like this way so you can see this button having icon the button plus they have a like school fees right why it is display instead of this custom method it will replace this one okay and after the whatsoever the dynamic value inside this amount we will see here 20,000 as of now right and yeah one more thing now it is a depend on the method right which you wrought here what I did is in this click event uh, let's say custom method right let me open the models so this is the school so it will print automatically like this in this method so it won't be redirect to any of the pages all right so yeah like this one and it won't be automatically redirect to any of these profile different profiles you can also do it okay now here let me show you different buttons like this so first thing is the student fees let's say the taxes number of students let's say here we can add number of faculty subjects right and we will leave as it is right but here instead of the same icon we can change here let's say the users list ul then after book then after star and let me add one more so let's say home all right so we have a different buttons available like this one so button inside the button we have to provide this new tab right like this and let me upgrade the module and now you can see here see this one tax right number of students number of faculty and let's say it will automatically adjust by the browser depends on the screen size right if screen size is too big then it will display here all the buttons but let's say screen size is small so according to the screenshot size right it will provide this more button and you can see like this well one more thing is here uh, you don't need to provide also the amount right you can also add here let's say this is taxes right you can add manually like this number of student is 50 right uh, you can add also here something like this let's see it, it will work fine or not so you can see it it will working fine so those are the static data's right these two right say this 89,050 is the static data right and this is the dynamic value you can see here so it is not compulsory you can add here any fields right you can do one thing uh, let's say you can calculate number of students how many student is there you can create a one compute field right and that field you can add here for example here number of student is how many so you can add here that number of that one and the according that icon so let's say this users icon you can fit here right so you can make it a perfect button and uh, you can also do one logic you can return here now once that button is click it will automatically redirect to those students only so that is your homework right so like this way you can add 
multiple buttons in the button container i hope you understood about this functionality if you still have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session